Hello, Jay Marshall here from NMUSD Ed Tech. We're going to look at navigating Schoology. That's right. How are we going to get around? Where are things? I'm going to show you. When you first log in, you'll be taken to the recent activity page. This is your default home page in Schoology. Yeah, it looks like a little information feed, right? Let's look up top, though. We're going to start in the very top left corner. That icon for Newport Mesa, that will take you back to this recent activity page. See? Home. From anywhere, it'll take you back here. Then you have your courses that you are a teacher or student in. It lists the top 12. If you have more than 12, they won't show up here. Same with groups that you are enrolled in various groups. And if I click on one of these groups, it'll open the group for me. And then resources, which is where we can find and share resources. It's a repository, if you will. That's right. Lots of great materials that you can access and resources. Let's go back to recent activity, our home page. You'll see that it does look like an information feed. These are updates and information from any courses that you belong to, um, teach or are a student in, and any groups that you're enrolled in as well. They will all show up here. You can also post updates, assignments, and events from here as well, which is kind of handy. Let's look right here at the course dashboard. Course dashboard gives you a view of all of your courses and I do mean all. I am a teacher or student in 17 courses. If you remember, the courses option up top listed 12. So it is here that I can reorder. I can drag things around. If I want to like adjust my top 12, I can do that. I can shuffle these courses around. You can also make this your home page, and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But let's move over to the right-hand side. Off to the right, you'll see on my screen, I have an overdue panel reminders and upcoming. I guess we'll start with overdue. Overdue is for students, and this will show any overdue work um, that they may have. I am a student in a number of classes just to help out and kind of test things, and so these are. this is why I have the overdue section of my, on my homepage. Reminders is going to be um, items that students have turned in that need to be graded. So this is for you to grade things. And then we have the upcoming little panel. And this is work or events from courses or groups um, is listed here. So you'll see I have lots of different items that are popping up from groups that I belong to as well as any classes. Super. If we look at the top, you will see a few lovely little images. We have the notification bell. So if you click that, it'll take you to your notifications. We have the envelope. That's your messaging center that allows you to send messages to teachers and students. We have the calendar icon. Yes, the calendar. It's a great calendar that allows you to post things as well by clicking. You can post events and assignments through the calendar. It's pretty awesome. And you can like filter out the different calendars that you want to see. You have an app center where you can install some apps. And lastly, we have the search button. So this search button allows you to look for any materials that have been posted on courses or groups you belong to. You can find courses and groups as well by typing in the search. Lastly, if we go up to the top right corner, you can select your name and go to settings. It is here that you can, first of all, scroll down and Make that change. You can set your homepage to the course dashboard if you like. I personally like the recent activity page. I like to see what's going on. You also have a notifications tab, so you can adjust the way that Schoology notifies you of any of these items that you see on the left hand side. Privacy settings that allows you to kind of lock down some um, settings from your profile, for example. The transfer history. Transfer history displays the progress of any content that's moved between your courses and resources. So you can see that I've saved some of these materials that were in a course of mine. I've saved them to my resources so I have them for later, which is kind of great. 
in the recycle bin. This houses any deleted resources and, and other materials that you may have deleted. And now, if you want to restore them, you just hover over to the right, select the gear icon, and select Restore To. Okay, so let's go back to the recent activity or the home page. At the very bottom, you'll have a blue circle with an S in it. And if I click it, this is a help center. So this is how you can get a little bit of help. And you know, another place to get help is by emailing us at edtech at NMUSD. That's right, you know how to get a hold of us. So please do if you have any questions. Take care.